guys. I'm running a little bit late this morning. Well, I'm not late, but I will be late if I don't do this really quickly. Um, so today is the day of my panel in Cannes. Kind of nervous. Um, my hair is like still half dry because of this rubbish hair dryer um hence i'm a bit late but i thought i would show you my outfit today i'm really not sure about this outfit and i kind of threw it together i also have my badge fleur de force hey um so yes i am wearing my urban outfitters um like dress with the collar so i'm wearing it underneath this sheer top which is from top shop should I get rid of the badge? That might be better. And then I have on this belt, which is from All Saints about a million years ago, and my Forever 21 boots. So if I can fit it in, that's what it looks like. I actually didn't plan any outfits for Cannes. I only planned for like Coachella because I'm only here for two days or like a day and a half. I've got a really sweaty top lip from hair drying my hair. Um, yeah, I like don't have that much time here, so I didn't really think about it. And then I was panicking this morning, and now I'm late. I'm gonna take you guys with me. You're gonna see me on the main stage. It's gonna be scary, but it's gonna be awesome. This video is going to be a little bit of a different one. It's gonna be a mix bag, a bit of everything. So <laughs> let's do it. Today I'm gonna be talking you through a week in my outfit. I'm excited about it. We did from Bowman Beach and it was very romantic. I'm going to be showing you how to do this big side clasp or braid. Americans call it braid, English people call it clasp. It's time for another monthly favourite video. This is like the biggest hat I've ever very, very sexy nightwear. Today is moving day. Packing is not fun. Hello. Hello, ladies. I'm going to be talking about my top. Skincare items, blushes, concealers, foundations, mascaras. Oh my god, it's actually real. It's so pretty. It's so big. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Let me quickly tell us about what it is that Florida Force is. Okay, so I actually have two new channels. Um, my first one, which I started with, is Flirty Force. I make beauty, fashion, lifestyle content, girly stuff. And then I have a daily vlogging channel as well that I do. It's kind of like a lower production quality, just my day to day life. What is a tip to leave us with for building an audience that really cares about not just people who watch, but people who are community, people who are fans? I think the main thing is to care about the back more than anything else and get involved with them. Um, and never kind of see yourself above or separated from them. Like, remain a fan yourself of YouTube and other people, and yeah. I think that's the best way for me to really kind of connect with my audience. And also, make sure you are consistent and they know when to expect content, so they know when to come back. So I've just come out of the panel and it went really well. Actually, it wasn't really a panel, it was more of a talk. So you guys will have seen some of that. It's a pretty massive stage, but it was awesome. Everything went really well, and I am now walking down the steps at Cannes. This is like where all the celebrities walk um, at the Cannes, Cannes Film Festival. And where we were talking was the actual like stage where they show the films, which is super cool. So I think we're going down to the beach now to maybe have some lunch and a drink or something like that. The sun has come out. It was actually pretty miserable this morning, but um, I feel like my skirt might fly up on these stairs and it could be really, really embarrassing. This is my lunch. It looks amazing. It's actually really loud in this. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. I'm filming on my phone as well because my camera's run out of battery. Surprise, surprise. Um, I'm not entirely sure what everything is. I know there's tuna and peanuts involved and some kind of sea cream or trout. It looks like trout because it's yellow, but salads. We've got chips coming. This is where we are right now, on the beach, in the sunshine. We are leaving Cannes. I'm super sad. It's been like the most whirlwind trip ever. Um, literally 24 hours in Cannes. But it's been awesome. The sun is still shining. I have burnt my nose slightly, even though I had Factor 50 on. It's a bit red. Hopefully it'll be alright by tomorrow. Put some, sort of, put some moisturizer on it. Um, yeah, saying goodbye. On to the next place. I'm sitting in the airport right now and I've been here for a while. Um, I literally just, I was about to vlog and then the situation just changed, but I'll tell you the story anyway. Basically, we got to the airport and they had overbooked the flight. So we had to like wait at the check-in desk. We were like two hours early as well. Um, and we had to wait for like 15 minutes to check-in desk. They're like, we're not sure if we've got a ticket. I'm like, oh, OMG, I've got a flight at like seven in the morning tomorrow um, to LA and I can't miss it. 
So anyway, I ended up getting a ticket that the person I was traveling with ended up getting put on a waiting list and she literally just got through on the last ticket. So I feel like I should have vlogged earlier and I missed the angst and the like interesting stuff, but we made it. We're getting on the plane back to London. It's been a whirlwind, like seriously 24 hour trip. But um, yeah, good stuff. Thank goodness. That's like my worst nightmare. I was just thinking, oh my God, if I don't get on the flight, to LA. The flights at the moment are so expensive as well. I was looking into getting Micah flight to come out for the last four days when we're, we basically like extended our trip after Coachella to stay in LA with some friends. And the flights were like 1200 pounds for an economy flight, um, which is pretty much double what you can get them for normally. And so I was like freaking out like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to buy another flight. I don't know what to do. Um, so yes, we are going. Let's get on this plane. Another 24 hours another hotel room for me. <laughs> I'm in the Hilton at Heathrow Terminal 4 and I am so tired. Um, I don't know what it is about flying. My flight was like not very long but I feel tired. I think it's having lots of sun today and my little, my schnoz got a little bit pink. It's not like properly, my nose is always a bit red anyway but it's not like properly, I don't know. I did put factor 50 on. Um, I haven't actually spoken to Mike today. He's been playing golf at some fancy golf place, I think. So I might try and get a hold of him, order some room service, and then pass out. I have to leave for the airport. Well, I'm not going very far, but I have to leave the hotel at 7.30 tomorrow. So that's probably going to be it for today. I am going to put my PJs on, order some food. I just opened a Diet Coke. You know when you have that like Diet Coke moment? where you're like so thirsty and you open the fridge and it's like ice cold. Ugh, it's, I had one of those moments. Like I don't drink a lot of Diet Coke, but sometimes when you really need it, it's just like the most satisfying thing ever to drink it. It's like fizzy and cold and good. And I realize I look kind of crazy lying like this with my hair kind of crazy. Um, but yes, I will see you guys again tomorrow for another vlog. Sorry about the rubbish quality. My camera ran out of battery because, um, the person filming the um, panel for me like filmed the whole thing so that I could choose which bits I wanted and I hadn't like charged my battery enough so it ran out. Surprise, surprise, I didn't charge my battery for my camera. I at least had a phone, I didn't charge my battery for my phone either, I'm useless. I need mic with me at all times to make sure I charge everything. Um, yeah, that's it for today guys, i see you tomorrow, bye bye! Good morning guys, so I've arrived at Heathrow Terminal 5. It's currently like quarter to ten, it took a full like to an hour and 10 minutes longer than normal. It took us a long time to get here this morning because we left at like seven o'clock in the morning, so um, yes.